All forward. Come on. We push forward. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to 2 million troops. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, Brent. You no. don't know what I just triggered. Oh, if I help you form Mongol Empire, <laughs> I'll get your Amazon Prime. I never agreed to this. Come on, <laughs> dude. I need this. It, we just took the decision to go seek, and now we're religious. In this mod, there's manpower and true faith provinces right here, which is actually insane. But on top of that, there's also a bunch of other modifiers that we get from going seek. Uh, we did lose one of our estates. We lost the, the one of the estates, yeah. As you can see, I have a bunch of crownland now. This is actually really good. Holy crap. This is actually really good. Our manpower should go really high. We should reach a million, actually. We're number one dev. Like, an actual dev. We're number one. Oh, no, we're not. Bukhara is number two. Our Hindustan and India are different countries in English. Hindustan is the name for India if by Persians, believe it or not. The Hindu doesn't... in Persian and Arabic doesn't necessarily mean the religion Hindu. It refer refers to India. I'm gonna just stay a. I'm gonna say a monarchy this entire game, so might as well just do that. I don't plan on going a uh, theocracy this game. Usually I do plan to go theocracy late games because it's always worth, but this game I'm not because um, I'd rather keep the bonuses I get from being uh, these, this, and this. We're almost done. No, we're not almost done converting. We have so much more to go, and some of these are gonna take forever. Maybe we should get missionary strength guy. Three cannon stacks right now. We should go up to 40. Four cannon stacks, or five cannon stacks even, actually. Actually, we'll go to five when we reach 700 force limit. What did Arabia go? Arabia went... Well, he doesn't have the idea yet, but he went defensive, influence, economic, quality, religious. He's almost the same as me, but I have quantity instead of quality. What's he? What's Arabia eating at this point? Nothing. He's descaling while I'm giga scaling. That's why I'm not attacking. If anything, they attack me. I'm not attacking him. It feels uh, nice when you're killing people. Yeah, well, uh, sir, what? <laughs> What? what do you, mean? you mean in the game? Of course, yes, right? Of you course, mean converting yes. culture. Yeah, oh. converting cultures doesn't mean killing them. I don't know why people think that. Yes. You're just like going to them and saying like, okay, this is now you, your you, country's food. And this is what you speak. This is the language you speak. It's not actual genocide, dude. Uh. No! No! Ah! No, okay, 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 okay. I thought I lost my air. Okay, okay. Oh, look at my monarch point generation. Oh my God. Mr. JB. Yes, Mr. Habibi. I'm largest army and highest income. We're gonna go for the 1v1 on Arabia. Hopefully Ethiopia doesn't help him. We're gonna take the tech super duper early here. Here we go, chat. You ready? You ready? I have very garbage generals. I have like very, very garbage generals, dude. Ready, chat? We do have the highest income. No, not anymore well with the overextension, but we do have the biggest army. Without the overextension, we have the highest eco as well without the overextension i think we're at six cannon stacks six this is the most i've managed in a while actually six cannon stacks jeez one two three four five six yeah six cannon stacks you know what i'm gonna go down a little bit in the amount of troops we'll do a triple over stack so 90k infantry 100k we'll do 100k infantry so we'll move 10 from here little based here we go activate this Morale of armies, activate this, and activate this. No can well no cannons in the back row. Alright, uh get these guys off. I need more men! Oh man, dude. These wars against Arabia are gonna be so annoying, actually. We're just gonna be running men at... We just... We already lost a million men. Oh, this battle's actually way closer than I thought it would be. He's running out of reserves, but if he rolls really good here, I can actually lose. We're both shattering? We're both shattering? Okay, he shattered first.
Retreat! Retreat! I need better generals! Bro, give me good generals. I, I can't, like, one fire at this stage is so bad. I need a six fire, dude. Okay. Um, well, I was trying to negotiate, see if we could just end this war. I'll probably just stab hit. Like, yeah, this is t costing too much manpower. I'll probably just stab hit here. Ugh, I can't stab hit. I need a little bit more war score. I'll just do like this. Yeah, we just kind of sit here and wait now. There's- I can't push. I can't push. I have to just sit here and wait. Why do I not want to be Hegemon? I mean, what does this one even give? It's like siege ability? Movement speed? Siege ability? Province war score cost? Sure, dude. Let's proclaim Hegemon. This war is just- we're just stuck here on this. It's not- I didn't- this is why I didn't want to do this war. I knew that it was gonna be like this. So now what, Chalfa? <laughs> I, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't want to push you. <laughs> you got a real name for you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I only ganked one person this game, yeah, and it was me, with dude. you. It was with no, you. I got your back, <laughs> Chalfa. I got your back, homie. The one person I- No, it's more than five yeah, years. Oh, let's see that. Here we go. I bought a bunch of Merc stacks to do this. Let's go. Let's give their best general. We'll start- we'll start multiple fronts, dude. We'll overwhelm him. He's not even reinforcing over here. We'll just over overwhelm him. Come on, guys. Just overwhelm him. All forward! Come on! We push forward! <laughs> we did it! We did it, dude! We just overwhelmed every single front all at once! <laughs> this one too, go! This general sucks, though! Oh my god, you're so bad! He's gonna get wrecked. This retreat here. This is the one province retreat right there. In this mod, uh, uh, recruiting mercs does not reduce uh, your professionalism. And a lot of mods make that change too. More mountain forts. Jesus. Barrage and assault. Charge. Ah! For Hindustan. We got it. We can now encircle and reinforce this battle. Hold, clank. Reinforcements are coming, clank. Hold. Hold the line, clank. Reinforcements are on their way. He's scorch. Clever bastard. Come on, hold, hold. Oh, he's shattering. No, I'm the one shattering. No. Just go back in, Clank. Just go back in, Clank. Clank, just go back in. He's losing, like, no morale here. What's going on? Show them no mercy, Clank. I have no music on because I I kind of I'm kind of just so brain zooted right now that it's I folk I'm gonna focus better without any music if that makes any sense to anyone. The the thing about Persia is like you get a mountain fort and then there's like three more mountain forts behind it. <laughs> Dude, this isn't juicy, man. I didn't want to fight Persia for ju for Arabia just for this reason. This isn't juicy at all, chat. Cannon stack. I mean I mean mountain forts, mountain forts, mountain forts, mountain forts. And I'm out of manpower now. Chalfa, this is all I want, Chalfa. Okay. Oh no. GG. Here's my trade. It's in in India you get a collect. You collect in all of the nodes except for Dakan. Pro tip if you ever end up playing in India. Also, we should transfer this instead of Malaya. Laka. So yeah, you should just collect everywhere. And that's what I'm doing. I'm collecting everywhere. I'm collecting here, I'm collecting here, I'm collecting here, I'm collecting here, I'm collecting here. If you push to one node, especially these two, um, you're just gonna get trade boated to death and all of your trades just gonna get taken from you and vanilla and when you're in single player you shouldn't ghetto collect like this you only do this because it's multiplayer 
and players will jack your if you pu push all your trade for example to Gujarat uh, Arabia and Ethiopia both will jack it if you push it to Comorandel both Arabia and uh, and uh, Ethiopia can jack it so it's really scary the, what's the best thing for if you're in India is if you conquer all of this you become giga strong because you push everything to Persia and then you get like a 2,000 ducat income because you're pushing everything and no one can steal it because it's Persia Persia node is a really sick node for that reason can't be stolen really if we win this 1v1 against yuan yuan's gonna deck on us this session because he wants to form mongol empire he needs a couple provinces from us if we want to get game winner in this this game to get voted it's a it's by vote but it's almost uncertainly whoever gets the vote it's gonna be either me or yuan poland is also a contender but the poland player is not the original poland player we'll see what at the end of the session maybe he'll do something really chad with his nation kill these guys kill every kill ethiopia maybe then he'll get game winner but right now i think it really it's determined by who wins this 1v1 and right now i think my odds if he attacks right now the odds of me winning the 1v1 is like 0.0001 percent maybe if i can get more manpower he has about 200k more max manpower than me, better tr quality troops, he goes all cav. Uh, the, I have more force limits, but that doesn't really matter in a big war. I also have slightly better income when I don't have overextension. Speaking of overextension, yeah, we, we can take a deck on this guy now. We're gonna do imperialism. Isn't ETH also a contender? Oh yeah, Ethiopia is also a contender. I forgot about him, but like he's hasn't done really anything big. I don't know. I was talking to other people and like, He's got really kind of just a free game and got all of Africa for free and he didn't really do anything. The thing is though, he does have number one eco, but his manpower is like 500k for some reason. Like he has 500k manpower or si almost 600k. I'm 1.5 million. What Tech Yuan is, he's um, what do you call it? Eastern because he formed as Bukhara. He didn't form as a horde, he formed as Bukhara. And we can get, let's see, I'll probably get admin ideas. Mercenary cost, state maintenance, core creation cost, mercenary maintenance, interest per num. No, I think I should do a diplomatic idea because I need the admin power. We could do trade. We can get a lot of money. Trade? Trade? Yeah, I think trade. So we can go get like 2 million troops of, with mercs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely trade. I, I've already decided. I don't even have, I don't even have trade. I'm making some pretty high income. I think Bukhara has trade already. Yeah, he does. Dang, it's so close in dev, the top three. Well, not really. Yuan has a little bit more. That's actually crazy. All right, one, two, three, four, five. I think we need one more cannon stack. I think we need one, maybe, is five good enough? Six, we should go to six. Six cannon stacks, six cannon stacks, chat. Am I capping already? I'm capping. Uh, I'm going to two million troops. We're going to two million troops, chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Where are we gonna fight though? Are we gonna fight here in India or are we gonna fight in China? Yeah. Well, I need the. Uh, <laughs> we're fighting in India. All right, we're fighting in India. Not gonna rush because the next tech is infantry tech, and we can probably take it early. Holy crap, he has so much more morale. He actually has so much more morale. My general died in the battle. Get all of you to the front line now. All of you to the front line. We might need the morale advisor, chiefs. I have no freaking prestige right now. All of you to the front. This is so many troops, man. You know what? Let's do death stacks. Let's do death stacks. You know what? And let's do morale advisors. I wish I fired my morale event. I never could get the right advisor in time. Finally, I got the advisor. This morale thing is really rough. I'm doing a lot more damage to him. I don't have the battles thing on, so you can't see the specific numbers, but if you look at the numbers, the casualties have been pretty good on to our favor. The good thing is our stacks are ready for this tech. So when we get the tech, we don't have to remake our cannon stacks or adjust our cannon stacks. So I like overstacking cannons. It's a good idea, honestly.
How much is he gonna stack wipe? Hopefully not much. Uh, 60k is not much. Okay. I have to overstack so hard because of the morale difference, dude. I think we just put a morale advisor. Like, the discipline advantage is, like, pretty nice. But I think I need morale advisor. Maybe I keep the discipline guy, actually. He looks- look at his numbers. They look like they're diminishing really hard. Uh, speaking of my numbers, I'm losing manpower, actually. I maybe just- severely outnumbering him unless he has troops sitting somewhere this is actually so hard to manage dude this amount of troops holy <laughs> 1.6 million right now how much do i need to reinforce 400,000 We'll slack in. We'll slack in twice. We'll slack in. Yeah, we'll slack in twice. Oh, dude, the word's been going for a while. Oh, it doesn't look like it, but it has. It's been going for now five years. Yeah. We should have just sat and waited tech from the beginning, honestly. It's morale. That's how he had so much morale. I didn't even check, dude. Um, I didn't want to play earlier today, dude. I would have played this so much better, honestly. Almost there. We're going to turn this. We're going to turn this. Well, I'm going to try to turn this. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Whatever. We had fun. There we go. There's the tech. There it is. We're now at 9.87 morale. If I don't turn it here, we're never gonna turn it. I think it's over chat. I think the discipline advisor was actually better than the morale advisor. No cap. Oh, my stacks are shattered, dude. Discipline would have been better. You know what we do right now? We can try to fire this before the game is over. I can't figure out what he took. He took three provinces. Habibi, are you now on the side that Cav is OP and should be removed from the game? Or is um, I have always known Cav is OP, but I, okay, I don't know. Okay. I think I made mistakes. I think I could have won it. I think I made a big mistake in the start of the war, and I could have won if I didn't do that mistake. Imagine I'm going to let him form Mongol Empire, though. Come on, dude. I need this. You ready? You ready for round two? Oh, don't Druze break me. I'm so close. I'm yeah, I'm about to Druze break you. No, 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 no. no. I'm oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Brent. You no. don't know what I just triggered, Brent. You no. don't know what I just triggered. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. Here I come. Habibi, if you win this war, you get game winning. Oh, my God. Here we go. Round two. Let's go. Someone DDoS a BB. Here's the deal, here's the deal. If I win the battle, if I win the battle, you have to white piece. You're gonna win the battle, dude. You have OP quality. If, what are you even if saying? I, if I win the battle, you have to white piece. All right, it's a deal. No, no, I'm getting off <laughs> this province, actually. We both agreed. We both agreed to it. Now it's final. I don't know why you want to do this to me. I don't deserve this. This would have been OP. I could have finally have, have done the thing I've always wanted to do in my entire life. My only goal uh, ever. The BB, no real life goal. Dude, if you form it, you will quit EU4 MP. This is for us. The BB is the best. Stop making me feel good, so I give you what you want. The BB is the best player ever. Not just NA. Right, if we win the battle, if we win the battle, you have to white piece. That was the rule. But I never agreed to this. Take the white piece. If you don't, I'm gonna call you a liar forever. Wait, what? <laughs> <You're> actual, <laughs> my my amazing you're reputation. I, I have such an amazing your, your reputation, dude. If you, if you don't take that my place. amazing, well-known reputation that totally like is so amazing and unscathed. Take that white piece, or it's or your reputation goes in the gutter. Your only chance. Yo, Habibi, I gave you an Amazon Prime sub. Time out. Time out. I have to think about it then. I'll give you my next Amazon Prime if you help me form Mongol Empire. 
<laughs> if I help you form Mongol Empire, I'll get your Amazon Prime? No way, dude! Wait, Habibi, I'll give you my Prime if you don't let him form Mongol Empire. You'll give me your Prime? Yeah, if you don't let him form it, I will give you my Prime. But he's lying, I'll actually do it. You know that's, I'm not you lying. Know do you have a Prime? Aren't you like 14? Wait, I'm sure my mom has an account. Brent, I'm matter. sure my mom has an account. <laughs> yes, we got an account. I feel like we can get a nice thumbnail. I think we can get a cat a nice we thumbnail. We tried to stop. It wasn't worth it. We tried to stop it. We joined the Mongol Empire. Tactical retreat. We almost had him. I have no. I'm fully tapped, Henry. This cap nation's actually pretty nuts, sir. I beg of you, please help me. Assist me in my quest. Feels bad, man. I can't win these battles. This is all I got. I think I'm done with this war. You can send the weapon. Piece now. Actually, get uh -oh. the 50 and stab hit me out for it. It'll be cool. Yeah, you got 56. No. It almost did. Here you go, dude. Go for Mongol Empire. Mongol <laughs> Empire and MP, dude. Congrats, Brent. Congrats. Thank you.